Hello, and welcome to FPS Coach. My name is Ron Rambo Kim, and in this video, I want to talk about the hand grip, or how to hold the mouse. And a question I often get asked is, what's the best way? Is it a palm grip? Is it a fingertip grip? Is it a hybrid? What do you recommend? And I want to answer that by showing you the pictures of 12 different CSGO professional hand grips. And I'll go through each hand grip and give you my general observations and we'll see if we can learn something maybe you can implement to your game. Our first professional is Scream. He's a French player. He's played on teams like Envious and G2. And you'll notice from the picture here that you can see a gap between his fingers and the mouse. And you can also notice that there's a curl to his fingers. And what this is is a prime example of a fingertip grip. And here in the second image, you can see the light from the back of his mouse shining through his fingers. So it looks like he doesn't have any palm, or if he does, it's just barely any. So most of his mouse control happens primarily just in the tips of his fingers. Our second professional is Automatic, and he's a 2018 major winner, currently plays for Cloud9. And in this image here, you'll notice that Automatic has his fingers a little bit more flattened over the mouse than Scream. And then here in this second image, although his fingers are still flattened over, the mouse is primarily still in the tips of the fingers. And you can tell that by the, the big space or gap between the back of the mouse and Tim's hand. And his mouse grip, I think it's what I would consider very neutral. It's just like if you, you know, there's no forced positions. It just seems very relaxed and tense free. And here's a leash from Liquid. Their team currently uh, is on a tear. They're the number one ranked team in the world. And a big part of that is a leash and his aim. And you'll notice from his grip that he has the maximum amount of overlap on the mouse. So you could see all his fingers are dead straight. Like his fingertips are as far away from his elbow as possible. They're fully extended all the way over. And there's a ton of surface contact between his hand, his fingers, and his mouse. And here's Glaive, the in-game leader from Astralis. And Glaive, he's a tall man. He's well above the average uh, man, I guess. He's, I don't know, 6'3", I believe. So he also has really long hands and, and big fingers. And another prime example of uh, an overlap player. So you can see again, like a leash, Glaive's hands and fingers are completely flat and completely overlapping the mouse in his palm and his fingers. Here's Waxik from Mouse Sports, and off the bat you'll notice that he's left-handed, which is super, super rare in the CSGO scene. Honestly, I can't think of any other pro that plays at the top 20 level that plays left-handed. And you'll notice here that he's also an overlap player. Uh, he likes to overlap the mouse, but not towards the front side of the mouse, it's more towards the rear. And he has the extended long fingers just like Glaive and Twist. Here's Body, a French player from G2. And off the bat, you can notice that there's something off about his grip. It, it's not something that you see every day. So the first thing that pops out to me is uh, how straight and how flush his right pinky is against the mouse pad and the mouse. So there's full surface contact from all the way from the tip of his pinky to the base of his uh, palm on the mouse pad. And you'll also notice that his uh, ring finger and his middle finger is writing over that pinky. So this is a super, super overlap grip. And what that also does is causes a gap between the bottom of his wrist and his mouse pad. You see there's like a gap there. You can see the light shining through. And in the second image, uh, another great angle showing just how exaggerated his overlap grip is. So this is definitely a forced intentional grip. Um, it's, it's not a natural grip, but you know, for him it works. It's something that 
he can replicate and that's what gives him the best feel of the mouse and best control. Here's Heaton, a Swedish player. He's a legendary Hall of Fame 1.6 Counter-Strike Pro and he's a giant of a man. I've, I've seen him many times in real life and he's well above the average size of a human. And he also has gigantic hands because of that. And you'll notice from his particular grip, he also likes to have the overlap grip uh, like body, uh, but it's not so much over the mouse, it's more towards the rear of the mouse. And so he likes to have that straight right pinky with the ring finger and, and middle finger straight extended and a slight curl in his pointing finger. And then another thing interesting to note is how uh, below his right elbow is uh, compared to the table. So most pros, their elbows will be, you know, generally around the same level as the table, but not with Heaton. So his particular hand grip, he's an extremely wristy player. Here's Zaiwu, a young French player from Vitality. And he's recently hit the scene this past year and has been dropping impressive numbers in land tournaments against some of the best teams. And he's, some call him a mini simple because he's phenomenal with both the rifle and the op. And what you'll notice here about Zai Wu's grip is he also implements the overlap. So the hands are clearly overlapping the mouse with his palm and fingers, making contact with the mouse. And it's uh, a natural overlap. It, there isn't any forced extension or overlapping with the fingers like we saw with Heaton and body. And the other thing to note is that he also has a slight gap between the bottom of his wrist and mouse pad. Here's Stewie2k from Team Liquid. And interesting about his grip is that he has like a overlapping claw grip. So you'll notice that his fingertips are on the very front side of his mouse or towards the cable. And you can see that there's an air gap in between the fingers as well. So it's primarily in the fingertips. You'll see that his right pinky is actually curled in compared to straight or flat like some of the other players we talked about. So his pinky is pointing towards his wrist. And you'll also notice his uh, base of his wrist writing on top of the mouse almost, which causes that huge gap in between his wrist and forearm. And here's Twist, uh, Stewie2K's teammate on Liquid. And you'll also notice he also incorporates the same overlap claw grip as Stewie. You can see that huge air gap between his wrist and the mouse pad. The fingers are, it's on like the very front border of the mouse. It's like overlapping the buttons. Like you can't even see the bottom base or front side of the mouse. So. Uh, the, the mouse is riding super, super high in his palm, and all his fingers are curled. Very, very interesting grip. Here's Shroud, and he's arguably one of the best mechanical FPS aimers in the world right now. And he seems to be able to just pick up any FPS game and transfer his mechanics and find a sensitivity uh, no matter what game it is. So very impressive, very fun to watch. His particular grip, I would call a prime example of a claw grip. So if you imagine what the claws or a hand of, or a grip of a eagle or a falcon would look like, where it's super curled and they're ready to like snatch and close in on something. So uh, you can see his right pinky extremely curled and, and the rest of his fingers as well. Our last player is Swag. And what you'll notice from his grip is that it's a super over-exaggerated version of the claw grip. So notice how much curl there is in his right pinky and right middle finger, almost to the point where they could almost touch his palm. And the rest of his fingers are super curled. So uh, imagine this feels like what it would be like to hold a ball, like he's holding a ball instead of a mouse. It's just like so everything's closed in and clawed in. Very interesting grip. So in the beginning of the video, I said I was gonna answer that question I often get of how to hold the mouse. 
And as you can tell, there's an infinite amount of variations from super claw to super extended to in between. And what I would recommend is two things. One, don't be afraid to experiment. You know, try curling your fingers a certain way. Uh, try extending your fingers. Try adjusting the pressures of where your fingers and wrist are on the mouse. And once you feel like you have a grip that feels comfortable, feels locked in place, and feels like you have full control, that's when you have to stick with it and be able to repeat it so you can build your muscle memory. So hopefully this video helps in some way. If it did, give it a like and subscribe to stay up to date. Thanks.